everyone, it's Velo here. Welcome to a new video and I wasn't actually planning to do this but I was in build mode and I really want to show you my way of doing windows like this that are kind of in the foundation. Now this won't work as in uh, bringing light to the basement but I will show you a few tricks to do it. Um, so if you want this just for the aesthetics, this is the video for you. Now, I know this isn't the first tutorial to do this, I'm sure, um, but I thought I would share my tips and like some of the objects I've found useful to do this. So yeah, now first of all, you just have any kind of building that has a foundation and the foundation has to be like quite high. This is probably good. Let's make it a tiny bit higher still. But the first thing you want to do is build a basement. So the easiest thing to do is grab the basement tool, but I would say don't do it like this. Don't start where the building actually starts because this is what will happen. Um, so instead, let's go back. We shall start from the outside of the building, make it like this. And now you can see it like changes a little bit. It changes the foundation a little bit. So let's go to the basement and we will actually drag this um, to line up with the house. And now we have the same room as we had on the first try, but we have like the ground makes sense, you know? This is also a good tip for building any basement. So start from the outside and then then modify the room how you need it to be so the terrain doesn't go all crazy but okay now i'm gonna just grab a few items that i'm gonna use so i'll be right back okay so here are the items that i'm gonna be using today i'm sure there are other options as well but basically you just grab the window you want i'm gonna show with this one and now that we have the basement it automatically lets you place it here so you can just adjust it as you would like um, adjust the foundation and um this won't be visible on the inside. Um, it will be visible from the basement, but it won't be bringing any light there. But yeah, basically with this window, this is from Get Together or something else that is like popping up a little bit. This is the one I could find. You're done. Like this is it. If this suits your style, then that's it but if you are going for a different style there are other things you can do so you can now place any window here and this of course looks a little bit silly um, because there's nothing except for the brick and that's just kind of silly but then we have this uh, wood paneling thing from get to work place it inside remember to have move objects on it might look a little bit silly but then if you are willing to like play around with it you can try what what suits every individual window you can put some bushes in front of that and one thing i also found pretty like realistic looking i think is to do like this this is the kind of air ventilation system from get famous so you size it down and put that on front of the window or on top of the window i think that looks pretty realistic like many basements just have some kind of conditioning what's that air conditioning room like kind of utility room so i think that would make sense and then the next window that i found very nice is this one now as you saw many windows the like inside of the frame isn't visible like in this one you can use any window you would like but in most of them um you lose some of the detail um this one from discover university is really nice because it all the detail is still there like you don't lose anything except for the actual glass and then here's another 
um, like wall art thing that I found quite useful. So this is from the Moschino stuff pack and like I said these are just the items that I found the most useful. Um, it has a nice gloss and when you scale it down it fits quite well in some windows. Apparently not this one. I don't remember which one I was putting it in. Um, maybe it was this one as well. Yeah, basically you could just see what works for you. You can uh, press alt and you can adjust it just the way you like. I like this because it has the sheen and even though it is a picture, it's not like in your face. So from this distance, you can't really tell there's a seam there. Um, and yeah, for this one, you can just like put something in front of it again. If you use this window, I don't know, let me know if you find something um, that really works well with it. Um, I'm just gonna show you one more thing to do and I tried to do this with um, more windows as well but it was pretty hard to find like corresponding um, items but for this big window I think this works okay. So this is a base game window and then we grab this mirror from Get Famous. For this one you have to go to the basement and press the 9 key to lift it and then you place it where it needs to be. You can go back and adjust the window. It's easier to adjust the window like so. Um, this was pretty hard to do because most of the like mirrors actually come like quite um, like they pop up from the wall quite a bit. Um, so it was hard for me to find like corresponding shapes and sizes that would actually, you know, fit into the window. Now you can like try it. You can do this and size down the actual mirror when there's only the like glass part visible but it doesn't work with most windows like you have to have the exact kind of window um, shape and size but for this one I think the round one works okay now of course it's a little bit like in your face but if you just put some bushes um, in front of it these other ones too like you can have the detail be there and then you can kind of um, make it blend in with some landscaping and stuff like this. Um, it's already like a little bit better. You can't see it that much. Um, and here's another window that I found pretty nice to have. For this one, I also used the, the get to work paneling like so it fits in there perfectly and you can change the color um and i think this looks pretty nice already and then if you want to have a bush in front of it i think that is totally like seamless like of course if you know what it's made of um you can tell but you know, those are just my tips to making some basement windows and I will put just a few more examples of how to decorate it, how to finish it nicely over here. So yeah, that is it for today. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I would appreciate it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye everyone.